Hi, the objective of this lesson is to understand the basic concepts linked with the binomial distribution in the probability segment. So binomial distribution. Now, it's, it's one of the discrete uh, distributions. Now, what happened is that, let's say a simple example is, if you're taking uh, the number of trials, not suppose you're going for penalty shoots, and the probability of you scoring on any given trial is 0.8. Now, if I ask you that, okay, you got to, you're taking five penalty shots. And uh, what you're supposed to do is you got to score on all of these shots. So that's simply 0.8 times 0.8 times 0.8, 0.8 and 0.8. Now, if I ask you that, okay, you can miss on the first penalty and you have to score on the rest. So, or let's say you have to score on the first and you can miss on the rest. So if you score on the first, so this is our case now here, score on the first to 0.8 and miss on the rest. So 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2 because the probability of scoring is 0.2 here. So probability of missing is 0.8. Probability of scoring is 0.8, so probability of missing is 0.2. Now, the, this answer is straight away 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 to the power of 4. Now, what if I give you a condition that you can, you can score on any, any uh, given trial, if you can score on any one trial. Uh, so in that case, what happens is that you get this one of the possibility, and then there opens other possibility. I can score on any, any of one trial. So, so what happened is that with this uh, allowance of scoring on any given trial, we get some more chances. Like you can get like 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. You can get 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.8, and 0 0.2, and so on. So, so what happened is that if you have, uh, if you consider the choice here, now. If you are taking, let's say, n shots, that's number of trial, number of trial, which are independent of each other. Now, the what do you mean by independent of each other? So, like when you're going for penalty, penalty shots, you should not uh, link up with the probability of your scoring on any given trial compared to the previous ones, like the linking up the trials. So the trials must be independent you should uh, be specified with the probability of success. So p-value is something called probability of success, uh, prob of success. And uh, uh, then q that you refer sometimes is one minus p, which is prob of failure. So this is uh, the general logic. Now what happened is that, let's, let's say I take an example where x is distributed with binomial. Here I specify, Generally, just write on x is distributed b. It is assumed that you take, um, you're considering this is a binomial distribution. Now here, n is the number of trial, n is the number of trial, and p is the probability of success. Probability of success. Now, what happens is that if I if I give let's say ten comma point eight, it means that number of trial is ten and probability of success is point eight. If I give let's say x is distributed binomial. 8 comma 0.3. It means that number of trial is 8 and probability of success is 0 0.3. So, so logically speaking, how do you how do you interpret when you are given that okay, suppose let's say you're taking 10 trials. I'm gonna just consider event this 10 trials and the the probability of success on any given trial is 0.8. Now, what is the probability that you score four of the penalty shots out of 10? Now, in this context here, or what you're given is, you're given a choice that out of 10 trials, you got to score on any of the four. Now, that is, uh, I'm just gonna first write down this. Okay, I have to score on first, let's say any, any of the four trials. So 0.8 to the power four. And remaining six, I'm failing. So point two to the power six. Now point eight to the power four times point two to the power six. This is the probability that 
either you succeed on any first four trial and then fail on the next six uh, or vice versa. But just to bring that here factor that I have to succeed on any four trial. Now, when you say any four trial, it means that out of 10, I have to choose any four trials to be successful on. So it means that I have to choose 10 C4. So this is, this is the number of ways in which you can choose four trials to be successful out of 10. Now, this is a combination that, okay, I just let just be briefing you up about N choose R or NCR. Out of N trials, uh, let's say when you want to be successful on R trials, that's, these are the number of different combinations that you can take. These are the different possible ways by which you can be successful. So here I wanted to be successful on, out of 10, I want to be successful on four. So that's why 10 choose four, 0.8 to the power four times 0.2 to the power six. Now, 10C4 can be evaluated by the, the formula for NCR is N factorial or N minus R factorial times R factorial. So if I have 10 choose four, it is 10 factorial or 10 minus four factorial times four factorial. So it is 10 factorial or four factorial times six factorial. Now, if you further simplify this, you get the finite answer. So 10 factorial can be written 10, 9, 8, 7 times 6 factorial over 4 factorial is times 6 factorial. So this is gone. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 uh, times 3 times 2 times 1, if I simplify, it is 4 and 2 cancels the 8. And 3 and uh, 3 is 3, 3 is a 9 here. So 10 times three times seven, which is um, 210. So there are 210 possible different combinations uh, which, are, which you can take. So 10 choose four, which is 210 times 0.8 to the power four times 0.2 to the power six. This is how you find out the, the probability of being successful on any four trials out of 10. So here is a, this is a basic example. Now let's take some more example. So here is another example on binomial distribution. Now, the question is that um, the probability that the, uh, the marks per man scores a bullseye when he shoots the target is 55%. So every time there's 55% chance. Um, now, he takes eight attempts, so that's number of trials is eight, and um, find the probability that he hits five times. So five out of eight, you got to, you have to find the answer for. So when you, so now here, first thing you're gonna write is the distribution. So you're gonna specify the distribution. So X is distributed binomial, number of trials is eight comma 0.55. Now, uh, here, what we do is we, in order to be successful on five trials, I have eight choose five times 0.55 to the power five, because I want to be successful on five, and I want to fail on uh, the four, uh, on three, that is 0.45 to the power three. And if you find, you use calculator to find out the values, you can find this. He misses uh, the bull at least five times. So if he misses the bull at least five times. So in this case, what you do is, so he can, let's say, uh, hit basically uh, less than five times. So if he misses, let's say, exactly five times, then he'll hit five times. If he misses six times, it means that he, he has hit four times. So actually the probability of actually X less than or equals to five, we are finding here. Now be careful that missing and hitting, and there are two different contexts here. So if they say misses at least five times, it means that it could have missed 10 out of 10 or eight out of eight. So in this case, you will take uh, out of eight, I want to be successful on five, eight choose five, uh, eight choose four, eight choose three, eight choose two, eight choose one, or he could have missed all, eight choose zero. And 0.55 to the power of five into 0.45 to the power of three plus 0.55 to the power of four times point of uh, four, five to the power of four. Here it will be 0 0.8, 0 0.5, five to the power of three times 0.45 to the power of, um, 0.45 to the power of five. Here it will be 
8 choose 2, so 0.55 to the power of 2 and 0.45 to the power of 6. Here he, he hits only one time, so 0.55 to the power 1 times 0.45 to the power 7. And he misses, he misses almost all the times. So 0.45 to the power of basically uh, 8. So that's, if you add up these probabilities, you get the answer for the, the part B. So this is how you do the basic questions on binomial distribution. I hope it is helpful. And I'm just gonna just take a quick review on all of these concepts that you went through in the next video using the, the GDC.